All right, in this video, we're going to look at another example of computing uh, the area bounded by a couple curves. So here on the right, we have the curve x equals 2 minus y squared. And then on the left, uh, kind of the left curve here of the region, uh, is going to be the curve x equals y squared. And we want to compute, again, uh, the area between these two curves. So to do the area here, um, you know, again, this is kind of that basic idea that we'll just do the rightmost curve minus the leftmost curve, since we're going to integrate with respect to y. Again, if we wanted to integrate this with respect to x, we would have to break it up into a couple different integrals. We would have to solve these equations for y. We would certainly have to do some more work. Uh, again, it's possible, but I think this will be easier. So we'll take the function, the rightmost function, 2 minus y squared. We'll subtract away the leftmost, I shouldn't say function, um, I was trying not to say that. Uh, again, these are not functions, right? Um, I guess we, should say, we could say they are functions of y, uh, but definitely not functions of x. Okay, so I'm just going to refer to them as curves. So the rightmost curve, 2 minus y squared, minus the leftmost curve, uh, y squared. And now uh, the limits of integration will come from the y-axis. So we're going to have to figure out kind of the smallest y-coordinate and the largest y-coordinate. And to do that, we can just set the curves equal to each other. So 2 minus y squared equals uh, y squared. Well, we can add the, uh, the y squared over. That'll give us y squared plus y squared, or 2y squared. Well, we can divide both sides by 2. That'll give us y squared equals 1. And then when we take the square root, we'll get positive and negative 1. So that's nice. Um, so this is negative 1, positive 1. Make the computations pretty easy. So negative 1 and positive 1. And again, uh, this is now the function that we'll have to integrate. So might as well simplify it real quick. So that's going to be 2. Um, it looks like we would have, uh, so minus y squared minus y squared will give us a negative 2y squared. And then when we integrate, uh, we'll get 2y minus 2y to the third over 3 from negative 1 to positive 1. Let's see, if we plug 1 in first, we'll get 2 times 1, or 2. 1 cubed is just 1, so we'll get 2 thirds. So 2 minus 2 thirds will be our upper limit. Minus, we'll plug in uh, negative 1. That'll give us negative 2. Um, so negative 1 cubed would be negative 1. So that would give us negative 2 thirds. But then the extra negative will make a positive 2 thirds. Um, let's see, does anything cancel here? Um, it doesn't look like it. Um, it looks like we would have 2, and then if we distribute the negative, a 2 plus a 2, so that'll give us 4. And then we would have a negative 2 thirds still, and I guess another minus 2 thirds. So negative 2 thirds and negative 2 thirds is negative uh, 4 thirds. And we can write 4 over 1 as 12 over 3. So really, we have 12 over 3 minus 4 over 3. So I'm getting the value 8 over 3 as uh, the value of the area.